Hey everybody, it's John, the author of the ABC Photo Guide with another inside tip from the ABC Photo Guide manual, uh, the ultimate newbie resource kit for new photographers. And today I'll be talking about the letter O, and the letter O is for taking it outside. Yes, all the way outside, wherever outside is for you. For me, outside is Toronto, it's the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area, and pretty much anywhere I can go. I've shot outside in Toronto, I've always shot outside in Barbados, I've shot outside in New York, you name it. I, I've been all over the place. Uh, I haven't been to Europe, so not all over, or Asia, but definitely two places I'm looking forward to get going to. And one of the beauties about shooting outside is it doesn't cost you anything. And I don't know, so there's been this big movement over the last couple of years to actually take photographs in the natural environment. And you know, for me as a wedding photographer, the one thing I do, I shoot outside all the time. We want to find nice venues, we want to find nice parks, we want to find greenery, we want to find flowers, we want to find architecture. There's a whole bunch of beautiful things you get outside that you don't get typically inside of a studio. You don't get beautiful giant arches inside of a studio unless you're in a Hollywood studio and that's where you're shooting all your stuff. But you're a brand new photographer and you're wondering, hey man, so what do I do to get some really great photographs? Number one, make sure you really know how to photograph people. And then when you do that, take them outside and photograph them in the outside outdoor environment. I, in the photo that I have in the ABC photo guide, there's a photo of a couple that I took inside of Yorkville. If you're not familiar with Toronto, I'm going to say it's the equivalent of the Beverly Hills in Toronto. And there's some beautiful, beautiful greenery. There's a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say cool architecture, but there's some really cool outdoor things. And uh, I took my couple, we did, I do a lot of my engagement shoots, all of my engagement shoots are outside somewhere. And I took them out to Yorkville and I did the shoot there. and. The, the photos were, were awesome. Just beautiful. They're terrific. You don't always have to go to fancy places to go outside. Sometimes you got to work with what you got. And uh, you'll learn how to do that once you get really comfortable with photographing outside. Uh, the beauty with outside, it doesn't charge you anything. But there are certain venues and certain places that do require some sort of uh, fee or, or, or license or um, a certificate for, for, for enabling you to have time to shoot. I know one of the places in Toronto that are really popular to photograph is in the distillery district in Toronto and they require a $250 payment for a, a permit to photograph for two hours in the distillery district. And the reason they do that is to make sure that they keep um, they keep their place, the, the, the businesses free for other things, their businesses, their restaurants, their shops. And they want to make sure that, you know, people don't block the entrances to their shops. So they limit the type, how many people can actually go out and photograph in their location. So there you go. O is for outside. And the quote at the back of this book is by a famous uh, National Geographic photographer called Joe McNally. He says, don't pack up your camera until you left the location because it's true, especially when you're outside. And sometimes you see that magical moment just happen right in front of you and you'll regret. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna regret that you actually put your camera in the bag before you left. Always keep your hand, your camera in hand until you get to your car or to transit because the best things happen when you least expect it. So take it outside from the ABC Photo Guide. If you want to learn more about the ABC Photo Guide, just click on the link below. It takes you to an Amazon link where you can learn more about the book. If you want to order it, by all means, it's only a few bucks. The cost of a, a Starbucks coffee. So there you go. And that's a nice little gift for somebody who's actually thinking about going into the industry. All right, everybody. That's it from me, John Ribeiro, the author of the ABC Photo Guide. Talk to you later. Bye.